Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is the 1st of October and to me that's the first like official day of autumn and it's Saturday today. I'm actually going away in two days which I'll tell you about later because we're going to do some packing but I really just wanted to have a cute little cozy autumn Saturday today. So I'm just about to leave to go and pick up my mum and we're going to go on a little morning trip to HomeSense which is basically our happy place. It's like our holy grail and we haven't been in ages. Like I haven't been to HomeSense in so long and I'm just really craving a home sense trip and I was thinking maybe I can pick up some cute like autumnal bits for the flat because I don't really like decorating for autumn and especially not for Halloween loads of you guys have asked me to do it but I'm just not a Halloween girl and I'm not really like in I've never decorated for autumn before but I kind of just want to get like a few cute touches like maybe some candles and a nice blanket or something like that um just to make the flat feel nice and cozy and then on the way back I'm going to pick up cocoa and we're going to do some cute autumnal cooking or baking which basically means that Coco's gonna do the cooking and baking and I'm going to watch and eat. And then I really need to pack my suitcase for my trip on Monday, so I'm going to show you all of my cute autumnal outfits that I've got planned. So it should be a really lovely day. Let's go. The Holy Grail. <laughs> Our happy place. Ooh la la, we've just walked in and seen this gorgeous dark green throw. Well, blanket and I really wanted to get a nice blanket and I feel like this would be so nice in my lounge to kind of add to the green vibes and it's very cozy and it has pom-poms so you can't really go wrong with pom-poms what have you found farmhouse cider candle delightful that's a bit of you isn't it <laughs> you think I should get the skull yeah. it's a bit scary these candles are so cute I'm kind of tempted to get the pink pumpkin a must mm. or the white pumpkin pink, pink. It's a must -hand. are you actually going to get those i don't know what for <laughs> i want these now as well wow so i just spotted this really cute rattan um i think it's a plant pot holder but I was thinking I could use it as like a blanket box kind of thing, a blanket basket. And it would kind of go with the vibes of my lounge because I've kind of gone for like jungly themes. And it really reminds me of the um, Four Seasons in Palm Beach, which was like so my style. Candles, candles, and more candles. There's literally a thousand candles. So we've done an awful lot of damage. We may need to reassess at the till because I think we got a little bit trolley happy. Oh my gosh guys, that was an exceptionally good trip to HomeSense. I spent like almost £200, so it's like a proper haul. Um, but I feel like what I got for my £200 is amazing. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. The first thing, oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. This absolutely stunning knitted blanket so i basically ended up putting the green one back because the more we were walking around the store the less green it looked to me and it looked more like teal and i if i'm gonna have green it has to be like a deep dark foresty green and it just wasn't right so i ended up putting it back um, and i was really sad because i was like i really wanted a cute blanket and then i saw this and just thought it was magnificent it was quite expensive i think this is the most expensive thing i bought at 50 pounds but it honestly feels like it should have been 150 oh my gosh it's just so soft and cozy and i just think it's such a classic so i was very very happy with this i feel like i really need this at the moment because the flats felt really cold the last few days i also got these um faux hydrangeas now i always say that you should get fresh flowers and obviously fresh flowers is the preference but honestly do you know how expensive it is to get like a bunch of hydrangeas like this it is extortionate and also I don't really think they're going to be in season now um, and I love them they're like my favorite flower at the moment so I thought these would look so beautiful in a vase they're not exactly autumnal um, but I just couldn't resist them because also my granny got me some really beautiful faux peonies for my birthday and I kind of wanted something to mix in with them because they're not like a full enough bunch um, so I was wondering if the hydrangeas would look nice with the peonies and if not I'll just have them by themselves and these again were not exceptional value for money there were three pounds each and I think I got five so I spent 15 pounds on these but they're really really beautiful 
I'm happy with them. Next, I got these little um, hot chocolate like bombs. So you put these in the hot milk and then they basically explode with like the hot chocolate powder and the marshmallows. So I thought Coco and I could have these this evening as it's definitely the start of hot chocolate season. I also got this really cute pie dish, which will definitely go perfectly with all of my other like kitchenware. This was $6.99 and I thought that Coco and I could bake a pumpkin pie to celebrate the start of autumn. And she agreed. So we popped a Waitrose on the way back and got all of the ingredients and we're gonna bake it in this pie dish. So next I got a bunch of candles and I kind of went a little bit overboard on the candles, but I feel like that's the thing that sets the mood the most. It's like the scent of the home. So first of all, I got this one, which was so cute. I couldn't resist. It's a little pink pumpkin and it's just silly, but I actually just couldn't resist it. And this was um, $7.99. That was a bit expensive for a whim, but yeah, it's really cute. Then I just got a couple of normal scented candles. They had so many and I was smelling all of them and I actually felt like I was going to faint because I was doing so much candle sniffing. And it actually took me ages to find some scents that I really liked, um, but I found these. This one has a pumpkin on the lid and it says spooky, um, ghostly in a way that causes fear and unease. It says literally no description of what it smells like, but it's just quite... It's sweet, but it's fresh, like it's not sickly or too warm. So this smells really good. And then I got this one, which is a little bit sickly sweet, but it's like not too bad. I can just about deal with it. And it's almond butter. And oh my gosh, it's basically just marzipan. It smells like marzipan, but again, it's not like, I don't know, it doesn't make me feel sick. And then the last candle I got was a little bit stupid, really, because it wasn't cheap. It was actually quite expensive, but I couldn't resist it. I thought it was so cute. And I thought that I could actually reuse the thing like when the candle's done and this is it <laughs> isn't that just so cute like how are you supposed to resist this honestly like you take the thing off like that and then the candle's inside so i thought that when when it's done even though it will probably burn for like a hundred million hours because it's huge um when it's done i can just like scoop it out and use it as something like maybe even a serving bowl in autumn so i thought it was kind of like a two for one it was about i think it was 25 pounds so it was a lot for a candle but considering that you get this like amazing <coughs> pink like iridescent pumpkin with a gold um I don't know what you call that. And then the last like autumn-y thing that I got um, was a little present from Romeo, who is Coco's cat. I would have got one for Cindy, but I just didn't really think she'd like them. They didn't really have any that I feel like Cindy would like. Oh my gosh. I got him this adorable little Halloween jumper, which I just thought was adorable. Um, and yeah, it's for dogs, but I feel like it will fit Romeo. And Coco hasn't seen this yet, and I feel like she's just gonna die. Oh my God, I almost forgot to show you this because Cinderella was sat on it, but this was only 32 pounds. And for that price, I basically just couldn't resist it. So it's this pink velvet stool. I thought it was so pretty. It's the perfect color. I loved the pleats. And yeah, this is the kind of thing I just love having in my flat. I use them a lot. Um, Cinderella will like sleeping on it. And yeah, it was only 32 pounds and it's a really nice size. So I thought this could literally go like anywhere in the flat. So yeah, that's everything I got. My mum got loads of stuff too and she's also doing a home sense haul today. She's like, should I go home and do a haul too? And I was like, go for it. So go and watch her haul on her channel. It's called Tickled Pink in London. You're in for a good laugh. I think the things I'm most excited about are my hydrangeas and this blanket because this is truly heaven. So I think now Coco is gonna start with the cooking, which I'm excited about while I begin packing which I'm not so excited about. So we've got all our autumnal ingredients. Look at me getting so in the autumn mood. Um, we've got ingredients here for carrot and coriander soup and some gorgeous sourdough bread. And then we've also got ingredients for pumpkin pie. Pumpkin I got pie. pumpkin pie. Can I have a slice of pumpkin pie, please? This looks so aesthetic. I know, and I, we didn't even like choose cute things. It's just everything is cute. And then I also got this hot chocolate sea salted caramel from Charbonnel, which should be incredible. And usually this stuff you can only um, make with milk, which kind of puts me off. But you can actually make this one with water because I just have a really sensitive stomach to milk. <laughs> so I have to have like instant hot chocolate. But how gorgeous! We're so coordinated, our outfits. I know, we've got a compliment. We got, com yeah, complimented in Waitrose. These women stopped us and they were like, oh, you two, what did they say? You two, look at you, are you models? You look amazing. But I look like this. And then she was like, and then she goes, I, I didn't know if it was real or not. Oh, yes. and, I was, and I was like, we what? Like and she was like, well, you look like you're out of the theatre. And we said, I said, well, no, we're just theatrical people. No, no I, just do a little bit. A little bit. I, I, I mean okay. it. If I will. <laughs> a little I will scream. Head back. Shook, child, 
Don't make the gagging noises, I beg of you. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I've never had a pumpkin in the flat before. Okay. Do you know how to cut a pumpkin? No. Oh, you're just guessing? Yeah. Do you think you need a sharper knife? Definitely. Well, I don't think I have a sharper knife. Well, then why would you offer one? I'll try this. It might be sharper, I don't know. Oh, oh. oh my god, you absolutely <laughs> leave me alone! I hate you. <laughs> you're so, so, so annoying. Sorry. Take all the seeds out. Yes, you de seed the pumpkin, Freddie. It's gonna take forever. Ooh, that's disgusting. It smells so nice, though, don't you think? Can I have a spoon, please? Are you gonna eat it? No! Oh. Peeling the pumpkin. Peeling the pumpkin. Peeling the pumpkin. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing in here. Does it? So good. <laughs> I don't think I like the smell of pumpkin. Mm. I do. Does anyone else like to lay out their purchases in like a very aesthetic manner just to give themselves another small moment of pleasure? Or is that just me? So this is my packing situation. Basically on Monday, I am going to Toronto in Canada and I've had this trip like in my mind for about a month, but I actually only booked the flights two days ago and I'm going in two days. So I'm excited, but I'm also feeling a tiny bit anxious about it because it just feels really spontaneous and I'm not a particularly spontaneous person. So obviously in Toronto, it's going to be cold. I think it's kind of the same temperatures as London. It's like not freezing cold, but it's definitely like coat, jacket and boots weather. But the thing is, I'm actually going in the same trip to a very hot, summery country. So I'm basically packing for two completely different climates in one suitcase. And you guys know, I really, really struggle to pack light at the best of times. And I have to really try and pack well and not get too carried away, which is my middle name. Okay, so these are the outfits that I'm thinking of. I have three days in Toronto, so I'm trying to actually just stick to three outfits. Hey, Cindy. Um, and then maybe one kind of like evening dress to change into if we go for like a nice dinner, which I think we will. For boots, I'll definitely take my over the knee boots and maybe just choose one pair of ankle boots. I'd really love to take the Gucci slingbacks because I just love them so much, but I just feel like it might be too cold to wear them in Toronto anyway. And then it's just a waste of suitcase weight. Hey baby, you're so pretty. You love helping mummy pack, don't you? And then for bags, I really want to take my Dolce & Gabbana quilted Sicily because I just feel like this will go with all of the outfits really, really well and just look really chic. Cindy loves Dolce & Gabbana. I'd also really like to take my Chloe Tess because I feel like this doesn't get enough wear and this is gonna be such an autumnal, like vibey trip that it's the perfect chance to, um, to take this bag out for a spin but then again the coach ivory bag just goes with everything and it's so easy and it always looks cute so oh, i really can't choose between these two and i feel like i shouldn't take three bags for three days and i'm obviously going to take my burberry scarf because i absolutely love this so much it's so cozy and it just goes with everything and makes every outfit look gorgeous and then for coats i'm kind of torn i think i'm definitely going to take my zara um cape because I just think it's so the vibe and I've like re-fallen in love with this recently, it's so old. Um, and then I really want to take a trench coat but can't decide between my Santini and my Burberry because I feel like oh, they're just both so beautiful and the Burberry doesn't get enough love. But the Santini's amazing and I just can't choose. I would ask your opinion but it's going to be irrelevant by the time you see this so I guess you're just going to have to watch my Toronto vlog and find out which one I ended up going for. The pumpkin is a boiling. Very good, Coco. Thank you. I hope you don't take she, credit for this. I'm going to take all the credit for this. No. <laughs> no, I will just say Coco is the culinarily gifted sister. Okay, so we got this like pre rolled short crust, she doesn't short own crust a, pastry. She doesn't own a rolling pin. I don't pin. have a rolling pin. Ooh, Coco. So clever. <laughs> Common sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. If anyone's making a pie, it's probably going to be round, not square. So why would they give you a rectangular I know, how weird. piece of rolled pastry? That how makes no weird. sense. So guys, this is my first outfit option and I love it so much. It's the little um, co-ward two-piece from And Other Stories that was in my haul from Haul Week. And oh my God, it's so cute. It's very parent trap. And I just felt like it needed a headband and I just think it looks adorable. I just popped a little like white turtleneck underneath. But I'm thinking maybe it needs something a bit darker, like brown or even just like off-white. I'm feeling like I'm not sure the white 
is working. I also just popped on my brown tights um, just in case it's like freezing. I'll pack them, but otherwise I'll just do bare legs and over the knee boots. And then my d and sisley bag looks so cute with this. So yeah, this is outfit one. There is one day in Toronto next week that's gonna be like 19 degrees, which is not too cold. So I feel like this will be a good outfit for that day. Outfit two is also incredibly, incredibly cute. I feel like my instinct is telling me to take my Burberry coat just because I never wear it. And I find that when I go on trips, it's a really good tip to take something that you don't really wear at home because you're kind of forced into wearing it because you've got nothing else. And you'll either find that you've fallen madly in love with it or you'll find, do you know what, it's time to let this go when you get back home. I'm sorry, but you just have to give the Burberry lining a flash because it's so gorgeous. Like you don't really see it, but maybe just like when you're walking, there might be like one certain gust of wind and a stride where you see the lining, which is lovely. But anyway, the outfit, um, first of all, I've got my Zara knit on, which is the one I've had for like five years, wear it almost every day. I honestly don't know how it's still <laughs> in one piece. Um, the skirt is from Caramillan. It's super cute, gorgeous camel color. I love these little buttons and I just think it looks so chic and stylish. And then of course the scarf, because the scarf and the coat were just, they were made to go together. And then for my bag, I feel like the coat goes with this the best more so than the Chloe. And then depending on how cold it is, I can either do some little ankle boots or I'll pop on my over the knee boots, but I feel like this is a very strong second look. And then my third outfit will be this adorable dress, which yes, was from my Andela Stories haul and I kept it. I absolutely love it. I was like unsure when I first put it on, but it's just grown on me so much. I think it's so, so nice. And I actually wore this to the Hocus Pocus, it wasn't a premiere, it was like a special screening of Hocus Pocus 2 and there were these drag queens dressed up as the Sanderson sisters and we were all taking photos with them and when I went up they were like, hey Sabrina girl! And I was like, oh my god, that's exactly what this dress is! It was a reference that I completely missed and I don't know how, it's literally Sabrina and I'm obsessed with it, especially with the headband and this one I feel looks really good with the Chloe bag don't you guys think in the boots like it's such a cute look and that makes me think that I do need to take the Chloe bag. So this is what the cape looks like. I am so obsessed with this. I think I bought this in 2015. So it's probably one of my like the oldest things still left in my wardrobe and I just never get rid of it because I think it's spectacular and whenever I wear it I always get compliments and I think it just works so well with this whole look. I feel so witchy. Coco I think I'm inheriting some of your like witchy vibes. No, Don't you I, think? I gatekeep that, okay? When Coco was like seven, she used to go, why is Freddie so uptight? <laughs> and I'm like, how does a seven year old even know the word uptight? I stand by it. <laughs> so anyway, I feel like if I just stick to these three outfits, then I'm not gonna be overpacked. I just, I have so many urges to pack more outfits, but it's just really, really unnecessary. But I think these three are really good. Oven time! Oh, look at it, I've had to put rice in it. Why? So like the pastry doesn't rise. Oh yeah, kitchen. and I put like... Oh, the bird's feet! The bird's feet. Snow White. The one thing she wants to do is mash I it. I can mash. <laughs> and then I get to take credit for the whole thing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's disgusting. It's nice, it's like sweet potato. Cut. It actually smells, did you put potato in this? No. All right, let me mix it in. Right. That's enough mashing food. Okay. And then this is a little concoction cocoa made from what was um, it? Sugar, mm -hmm. eggs, egg, milk, butter, cinnamon and nutmeg. Cinnamon and nutmeg. <laughs> I feel like we should put extra cinnamon and nutmeg in. Oh my god, this is actually quite disgusting. Yeah. She just has to go and rim in it, doesn't she? I just feel like you need extra sugar. Disgusting. Make extra sweet. Tell me when to stop. Stop! Then. I literally was a sprinkle. Stop, that's okay. enough. And just a bit more nutmeg. Freddie, no. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god. The thing is, I've never had pumpkin pie, so I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Okay, we're gonna neutral bullet in there. Oh my gosh, that's literally perfect. Do you like oh, it? Oh, it's so fun. It's gonna look so handsome in oh. it. Let's Halloween's see. my favorite season. If I you guys know. Didn't know. Coco's a Halloween girl, and I hate Halloween. Oh, he's gonna look so handsome in this. I know. We're gonna try out Romeo's jumper on Cindy just for fun, so she can model it for you guys, because otherwise you won't see it on Romeo. No. Oh my <laughs> Cindy baby. Oh no. Mummy, you know I only like pink. I'm a girl. 
Oh no, my baby. <laughs> oh, Cindy Luke. <laughs> you are so beauty. Okay, guys, here is my packing situation. I packed all of the outfits um, and my summery ones as well. And I've only packed in two handbags for the minute because I wanted to check the weight and I'm just under my weight limit by like two kilos. Um, so I'm like, shall I sneak a couple more things in? Um, and then just hope that they let me off if I'm just like slightly overweight and then maybe I can take something out if they are going to be like mean about it I can take out like a handbag or something Um, so yeah, I feel like i've done quite well. I'm quite pleased <laughs> I literally had my weighing scales here and I was like weighing every handbag and every pair of shoes I'm just getting my hand luggage ready and then these are the things I haven't like put in the suitcase yet So I feel like I need one more pair of boots and I was kind of thinking to maybe go with the brown ones instead of a cream pair because I can wear them with like these really nice sheer brown tights that I've got. And then I also want to take one more bag out of these two. And I really can't decide. I think ultimately it might have to be the coach just because it's lighter. The Chloe is actually um, quite a bit heavier. So I'm probably gonna have to take the coach. Um, then I'm taking my Longchamp as a like airport bag. And then my hand luggage just has all of my like stuff in because it's an eight hour flight. I'm literally intending to just sleep. So I've got my blanket in there, pillow, foot hammock, socks eye mask and then some just like toiletry bits in that little bag i've also packed cinderella's little suitcase with all of her things in her food her toys her eye drops and her milk um because she's going to have a sleepover at romy's for a few nights you've got pumpkin all on your top yeah, my darling. you do <gasps> i'm sorry i have to be the one to break no, it to you it's fine, it will wash, I'll wash it. It's pumpkin stain. No. Are you sure? No. Basically, so I've done all this for you. You know, like my um, whole Saturday's gone because of you. I thought you'd enjoy spending quality time with your favorite yeah, person in the entire I universe. Know, you want me to watch Coraline? No, I want, well, I want you to watch a horror film with me. Mmm, Coco. But horror's my favorite, and October's literally my favorite season, and Halloween's Why don't we just watch Hocus Pocus? Pocus? We could just watch oh, Hocus no, Pocus. No. So, um, classic me <laughs> i don't have anything useful for the kitchen so we're having to use show us um my makeup brush god's sake tell me it's clean it's, it's clean and coco's just um painting the pastry with like some egg, egg and sugar, sugar and nutmeg that she made because basically we didn't get sweet paste i don't think there was an option for sweet pastry no. i just think they're all like this it is time it is time it is time. Oh, <gasps> wow. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So whilst it's baking, Coco's gonna clean up. No, I'm not. <laughs> All by herself. Whistle while you walk. Then cheerfully together we can tidy up some plates. Just hum a merry tune. You are so annoying. See what it would have tasted. I already have, it's gross. Try it. Well, so that's the, try this bit. Oh, the cooked bit. It's not too bad. I'm the original princess. You're, you're a copy of a copy. I am personally imperfect. And your sloppy hair is sloppy. So for our main course, Coco is making carrot and coriander soup. At my request, because right. she made it before and it was delicious. I when do you add, When do you add the coriander? Um, once the carrots have tended. <laughs> a handful of coriander. Ooh, it's a big handful. Oh, uh, no, that looks like a lot. Really? Yeah, because we're doing half recipe. Blanket is on the sofa, ready for our movie night, our nice wholesome movie night. And we're gonna light all the candles using my gorgeous pink matches that my granny got me for Christmas. Oh my God, I love the smell of this one. I can smell it already. I prefer um, wax Oh guys, I forgot I also have this candle from Anthropology, which is a pumpkin souffle. So I think we'll light this one too. Let's light up the pumpkin. Oh, oh my god. Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh Cindy Lou, is it the most cozy? Oh no. Oh no. no. Oh, no. Stay here. It's Coco. Stay here if you know if it's good for you. Auntie Coco so mean oh, to swaddle me. Oh <gasps> swaddle. A swaddle. Oh, just look at this beautiful autumnal. Coco says I'm not allowed to say autumnal because <laughs> so it's cringy. Awful. This beautiful autumnal oh, meal stop. prepared by Coco and I sliced the sourdough. Wow. Good job we're not too hungry with this very small bowl of soup. <laughs> but at least we have pie. Okay. 
Okay guys, the time has come to cut Ooh. our pumpkin pie. We have pumpkin. absolutely no idea what it's gonna be like and I'm a bit scared, but I feel like, you know, how bad can it be? <laughs> We should have left it in longer. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my god, it looks really good, the middle. <gasps> oh my god, we literally just went to vlog and then we saw this and we both went, oh! <laughs> <laughs> we, like have a little girl. we haven't even watched the horror film. We I only watched the trailer. Yeah. She ran to the other room. I screamed and ran out of the room and now she expects me to watch the whole film. Coco, I'm not allowed to watch 15s. They're too scary. They're too scary. Yeah, I only can watch 12s. Oh no, not mature oh, themes. Not mature themes. Oh no, Coco, I'm not sure about this. Is this the Conjuring one or two? One. So this oh is god. The original one. I think it has like Annabelle in it. Oh. What it all started off as. Oh. The Edge in the Rain Warren. Great. Oh god, I don't like the music. The music's too scary already. Can you turn it down actually? Because I'll I'll be better if it's quieter. Good morning everyone. We forgot to finish the vlog last night. I think I was basically traumatized by the conjuring. <laughs> I was quite brave though, wasn't I? Yeah, like you didn't scream too much. I screamed a little bit and actually by the end of it I was like, I, I did actually enjoy it. I think it's a really good film. Yeah, yeah it is good. I liked the conjuring too as well. It was just the nun really disturbed me. That was the only thing, but no, I didn't was to get her to watch the nun. I'm never watching the nun. It's taken me honestly about how long ago did we watch that? Like Ages five ago. years. It took me about four years to get over for the nun and we forgot to do our hot chocolate last night so we're gonna do it now and we're watching scooby-doo which i'm not thrilled about but hey my favorite, Coco's film. favorite film okay i'm a little bit nervous because i don't drink milky <laughs> hot chocolate oh my god am i pouring it all over the side no so. one for you one for me one for me ready it's gonna work i think you literally just posted Three, two one Blop. Blop. Aww. That's so cute. Remove packaging and place the hot chocolate melt on top of a cup of warm milk. Watch as the chocolate slowly melts into the milk to reveal the mallows. Oh, slowly. It's doing the operative word. <laughs> Mine's going to Mallow. reveal the mallows. Mallow revealed. <laughs> well, it was slightly underwhelming because there aren't that many mallows. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to call them mallows from now on. But we need to do the taste test. Everything's all sticky. Ready? Oh, that's really, really, really nice. nice. Oh. Mm. oh my god, this is gonna give me such a bad tummy. I thought it was gonna be too milky. Mm, diabetes. Diarrhea. <laughs> Ew! I'm gonna put the conjuring two on now. Why? It's too scary. <laughs> So in case you guys were wondering, this is how our pie <laughs> turned out last night. Um, so it's been setting in the fridge overnight and I, I were a bit confused because it's still like really squishy. Like probably too squishy for pumpkin pie, like it tastes amazing. Um, but yeah, we actually baked it for longer than it said to and it's been in the fridge all night. So I don't know, it was a first time try, it was fun. Um, but yeah, it wasn't the most successful pie. <laughs> So guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this cozy autumn vlog. I now have to fake tan because I don't know if you guys have noticed in this video, but I am so pale. This is my natural skin color and I hate it. So I've got to fake tan, finish packing and just try and relax de-stress and enjoy the rest of the Sunday before my trip tomorrow. So make sure you come back next week for my vlog and to also find out where else I'm going because it's very, very exciting. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you all next week. Bye!